No, you're very sexual. You were probably I'm highly sexual. Started. And I used to go to those like F Street in San Diego. We had those F Street bookstores, and they used to have those um, masturbation booths. You remember those? You sneak in. The, you go in the back, and the floor's sticky. It makes a sound. And are they people having live sex or? No, you would movie? close the door. You close the door, and then you put you know what I mean dollar Quarter. bills or quarters in, right? Or F Street had these tokens. You had to go to the front, right, you know, the give tokens. them forty bucks, and then they give you tokens, and you put the tokens, and then you, there's a button, there's two buttons, like you know, what I mean, changing channels, and they they were always like the puddle of comma, you know, do you have to stick your fingers in cu- puddle of comma? Was this before the internet, or why would you go there? Yeah, this is in ni- late eighties, right? Jeez, so people was that no? But they had VCRs by then, right? Yeah, but I went to the. Yeah, world. but I was a kid. He was a kid. I was so nineteen. Whole... I'm not gonna go home oh, to my parents' Jesus. house. Yeah. What I had when I was a kid was you go in, and there was a bed in the middle. Where? One <laughs> six. That was his number. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a bed in the middle, and there was a guy fucking like this fat chick, and then there'd live. Be live. Then there'd be windows all around on Forty Second Street. Same thing. You walked in. You locked the door. You put token in. The window would slide up. Yeah, and then there was the ones that had the plexiglass that you just watched, and people would fucking you could look around and see the guys jerking off like heads banging. It's fucking creepy, man. What did you ever jerk off in those? Oh fuck yeah! When I was fifteen, yeah, yeah, you have to. You don't know. You don't know. That's the first time you see like somebody actually fucking in front, and you could smell a pussy. Yeah, you could. They let you in at fifteen. They didn't give a fuck. They weren't proof. That's probably in the seventies, right? That's the seventies, man. They didn't proof you. Jesus Christ! And you'd walk in and. There'd be a greet. Uh, there'd be a fucking janitor, and he'd go into every room when the door would open, and somebody would walk out. Before he'd go in there, he'd go in there and drop the mop, and fucking mop and put it back in with all sperm and shit. And then you go in there, put, and you had to be careful what you touched. And they'd have sex in front of you. I think I did it twice, guys. You know, just being young and stupid. <laughs> but then there was times I was in the city, and I'd just go in there just to see what was going on, just to see the. The desperation. Like, I would walk by there at 9 in the morning and see 20 people, like Hasidic Jews, yeah. walking out and going, really? why are you fucking, you know, they walk out real fast, our seeds, and, you know, these are people that, it's weird when people let their religious beliefs suppress their sexual, mm. that's why all these fucking politicians, when, they, when, they, when somebody tells me they're a Christian, all of a sudden I see them in the bedroom fucking their wife in the ass and smacking them. Because they're really horny fucking devils. It's really weird. Like, I was really horny when I was a kid. And then, once I realized I couldn't get pussy like the rest of my friends, <laughs> I let that emotion go in a way. And I got lucky that's exactly time what time. That's exactly what I went through. Yeah. And I would say, you know what? Instead of going after women, I'll just masturbate. I'll just yeah. go home and masturbate, and that'll be the easy thing. I don't have to talk to them or nothing.